Nvidia, the company responsible for the best graphics cards in the world, have just released their new Nvidia application. As a first step to modernize and unify the GeForce experience, the Nvidia control panel and all the RTX experience apps to come together as one in this beta application on screen. So I thought we'd go ahead and download it and open up this brand new application. So once you've opened it up, you'll notice that it obviously has been modernized a ton. The application itself just looks way more cleaner than the GeForce experience ever did, which I'm a massive fan of. But if we go to the top left under drivers, you can see this is one of the new features. So firstly, we've got the bar at the top where you can download the latest game ready driver but underneath we've got a ton of new simplified information. So on the left we've got what's new, this bullet points all the key information we need to know, and then on the right it's the same under what's fixed, this bullet points everything that has been specifically fixed, and I think that's amazing as it's way easier to read than it once was before. Not only that, if we go under graphics, this has also been updated to have some new features. Now I've noticed straight away that you can specifically click on each game, so if I want to customize or optimize my Fortnite settings and click on the game, make all these changes right here and it won't affect my Valorant settings, which I absolutely love. But if we go under the optimize part, you can literally click one button to optimize your settings and get a huge FPS boost. Or you can do what most people will do and actually go through all the settings individually. And you'll obviously recognize these as these settings are the ones that are in the NVIDIA control panel. Now they're actually in the Nvidia app itself and I think that's amazing. I'm gonna have to do another video on this specifically. Just as an example, if you scroll down, you can see settings like low latency mode where you can go ahead and change with ease. You don't have to open up the Nvidia control panel anymore, which I absolutely love. And then finally under settings, another cool feature I'm a fan of is the Nvidia overlay upgrades. Now, since I'm recording, this actually won't show up, but I've got this picture on screen. So as you can see on screen here, firstly, when you actually open up your overlay, it pops in from the side instead of actually taking up like your entire screen as like an overlay if that makes sense. I'll put a picture on screen of what it actually used to look like. In addition to that we've got the gallery feature which makes all your past recordings um, easily clickable and reviewable. I absolutely love this. We've also got the record button that's more simplistic than it once was before. Same with instant replays, the screenshot, the photo mode and then the highlights as well. And then they've got the game filter which has had some adjustments as well to be way more improved than it once was. And oh at the bottom we've got statistics Sticks. that's new now they've got this brand new like pretty epic performance overlay where you can see the frame rate the gpu utilization the cpu utilization and the average pc latency which i can't wait to test out i'm gonna have to make a new video delving deep into the best settings of this new nvidia app as well as test out the latency features as well so if you're looking forward to that feel free to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel i'll also leave a link to this beta application in the description so you can test it out if you like but that's all I've got God, thanks for watching and be sure to check out any of my other videos on screen right now.